Hello friends, today we will understand web service endpoint analysis and binder in web methods. A web service endpoint analysis represents the network address and any security credentials to be used with web services. You can use network addresses property to enable the dynamic addressing for the web services. So in web method descriptor in web method service descriptor, endpoint analysis is associated with the binder and for provider web service descriptor, the endpoint allies is used to construct the location attribute of the address address element when WSDL is requested from the web service. So here we can see that in our indication server, the location attribute is this. So now what we will do, we will simply create a web service allies in IS admin. So let's go to browser here go to settings go to web service create web service endpoint allies now here we can provide any allies name so which should be unique so let's say this demo yes LES and same we will copy so we will use for provider and we will trans transport type should be HTTP and here we will provide the host name as localhost and port number is 555 and we are not providing any security right now so we will keep all the values as default and we will simply save changes so once we do that we can see yeah, we got the success message added provider endpoint alias test demo alias so where it is we'll see we'll see it here okay now how we can use this particular alias in in our web provider web service descriptor so for this purpose we will use binders so here you can see that default binder is there so first we will understand what is binders so binder is a collection of all related definition and the specification for a particular port and you can say that binder is a container for the endpoint address WSDL binding element transport protocol and the communication protocol information so how we can use this particular so here we can see the port alias we'll simply select uh, sorry first we have to refresh it now here we can simply click on port alias and then here we can see that test demo alias and now select this and we'll save now go to WSDL and okay again refresh it go to WSDL and we'll see the location tag now here we can see that location tag is localhost this now we should able to access the particular WSDL via this URL so now go to the browser put it here question mark WSDL now here we can see that we are able to access it now we'll see whether we are able to run it or not go to soap UI click on soap put it here click OK Comma WSDL and then OK. Now here we can see that now it's come. Now put values here. Let's see. OK. And as we have provided the security, as you remember. The username token security we have provided those who don't know how to provide the username security 
please check out my other videos now go to here we'll provide username here And this must be password text now run this and here we can see the correct result so this way we can use the web service endpoint alias in web method so i hope you got the point and if you have any doubt or query then please do let me know in the comment section and if you like the video then please do like share and subscribe thank you